you need to stop using the double equal sign. There is only one instance where the double equal sign should be used, and I'll be covering that at the end of this video, so let's get started with what you should use instead. It may sound a bit melodramatic to say to stop using the equal sign, but let me back up my reasoning behind it. Let's just console log out here. An equal statement, we're just going to say one equal equal one. And if we say that, you'll see that that's true. And of course that's going to be true. It doesn't matter if we use equal equal or the more preferred triple equals. Both of these are going to equate to true. But let's say we were comparing one equal to the string one. What is this going to do? Is this true? Is this false? It should be false because a number is not equal to a string. But as you can see, it prints out true over here. And that's because double equal signs takes the type of the object and converts it so that they're both the same. So this number one and this string, they're going to be both converted to be equal to a number. So it'll check one and then convert the string to a number is equal to that number one. But if we use triple equals and we say that, you now see that we get false instead of true. And that's because this string of one is not equal to this number one. Now you may be thinking that's not really a big deal, but this can cause a lot of really interesting problems. So let's just console.log out here. We have zero is equal to an empty string. As we both know, this is definitely not true. There's no way that zero could ever equal an empty string. But if we save that, you'll see that it's equal to true. And that's because it's converting the types of these objects before it's equating them to each other. But if we use triple equals and we save, you see that's equal to false because it does not convert the types of the objects. This gives us a lot of weird bugs, especially when entering empty values. Or for example, if we check zero equal to false, that says true, even though zero is not false. And if we use equal equals, you'll see it'll give us false instead of true for the statement. But as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there is one use case where you do want to use double equals sometimes. And that's when you're comparing null for different objects. Let's say you have an object and you want to see if that object is null. So we have null and we're going to equal equal that to null, which is obviously true, and it doesn't matter if we use triple equals, that'll also be true. But sometimes you're going to have a null object that'll actually be undefined instead of null. So instead of null here, we'll have undefined. And that's a very common use case where you'll have undefined instead of null. And that's actually equal to false. Null does not triple equal undefined, but it does double equal undefined. Null and undefined are both considered the same when using double equals to compare. And this, in my opinion, is the only use case where double equals should be used instead of triple equals. The same rule of using double equals versus triple equals also applies to the not equal operator. So let's put one over here. And we're going to just put the string of one. And let's say that those are not equal to each other. As we know, exclamation point equal stands for not equal. And if we say that we're going to get false because it's converting the values types before it's checking equal. But if we put an exclamation point followed by two equal signs, it is not going to convert the type. And we'll see that these are actually not equal to each other as we would expect because the number one is not equal to the string one. And this solves all the same bugs that we talked about earlier with empty strings and zero, zero and false, and null and undefined. As you see, if we put in null on one side and we put in undefined on this side, we're going to see that these are actually not equal to each other. But if we use single equal, it would actually say that they are equal to each other. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick video on the differences between double equals and triple equals in JavaScript and why you should almost always use triple equals over double equals unless you're comparing null and undefined. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you check out my other JavaScript related videos linked over here and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. Thank you guys very much for watching and have a good day.